Mr. Parker here for an update. This is going to be a long one. It's got four different formats in it. Um, two of them are obsolete, but here we go. I'll start off the Blu-rays. Uh, this is The Revenant. This is supposed to be like this crazy uh, zombie movie. It's supposed to be getting critical acclaim. I haven't watched it. Uh, it's getting released on DVD very shortly in the United States, but I imported the Blu-ray from UK because I'd rather have the Blu-ray than the DVD. Uh, this is Livid. This is actually uh, a UK DVD Blu-ray as well. Uh, this is actually done by the guys uh, who did um, uh, Martyrs. So it's really uh, interesting to see what they're going to do next because Martyrs was such a popular, awesome movie. These both appear to be Region B, so I don't think they're uh, region friendly for everybody that doesn't have a Region B. Then we have Father's Day, which is Troma's new released movie. Four discs in this bad boy, two DVDs, a Blu-ray, and a soundtrack. This movie is vile, disgusting, retarded, funny, silly, everything you'd expect, and much more. It's actually really funny. It has one of the best renditions of hell I've seen. I really enjoyed it. I'd recommend it. you got to see Father's Day. And we have Life and Death of a Porno Gang. Probably going to watch this tonight, maybe. I don't know. Or this week. Looks crazy. Uh, also from Serbia, you know, after Serbian film, this one was around too. I don't know which one was made first. This one's supposed to be better, actually. And then we have uh, Wake and Fright, which is an Australian horror film, which is supposed to be really popular and kind of a lost film. It's getting a Blu-ray release. I think it's going through theaters here again. It's an older film. Donald Pleasance is in it. I have not watched it. Uh, this is an Australian Blu-ray. Then we have The Boogans. The freaking Boogans. It's like, it's on Blu-ray. That's all I can say is The Boogans on Blu-ray. It's just like, brings a smile on my face. It's just ridiculous. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray like I did, and I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, the Bunny Game, I did a review for this one. Uh, kind of a mixed bag in this one. Uh, a lot like the movie Scrapbook, which I, I think Scrapbook's actually a better film. But Detention, uh, I don't know. I bought this. It looked kind of like a mix of Scream and Aliens. I don't know what the hell's going on. Not Aliens, but Aliens were in it. Uh, I'm not happy that Dane Cook's in it, but I'll give it a try anyways. That's Detention. Uh, Fear City from Shout Factory, which is a great company, becoming one of the best ones now. They just released their Scream Factory line, and they're releasing a whole bunch of great horror movies on Blu-ray. But this is an Abel Ferrer one I've never got to see. I think I had the VHS, the DVD always skipped me, went out of print. But yeah, that's Fear City on Blu-ray. Now I'm going to hop into the DVDs. We got One of the Dead, which is like this hilarious comedy type deal, I think. Looked great, saw the commercial, came out pretty quick. Didn't barely any waiting after I saw the trailer, so... Haven't watched it. Bloodbath at the House of Death. This is a Region 2. Has Vincent Price in it. It's supposed to be some sort of comedy. I've always wanted to see this one. Finally, there's Vincent Price in the back in the devil outfit. I guess it's an elongated cameo. Then we have Death Ship. This is getting a Scorpion Blu-ray release, but this one, Special Features, has a ridiculous amount of Special Features on it. This is actually a pretty fun, decent, supernatural type uh, haunted boat type movie. George Kennedy is in it. Getting a paycheck again. And we got Doberman with Vincent Cassell. This is supposed to be this crazy French movie. Not really sure. I think it's supposed to be a really action-oriented type deal. Didn't watch it, but that one was one that was recommended to me. Angel's Crest. I don't. I got this just because it has the guy from Kaboom and laid the rest two in it. It also looks like it has Jeremy Piven in it. Again, not very expensive. It was one of those used ones at a video store. Uh, then we have uh, Kill Dozer. Yeah, that's right. This is one of the uh, made-on-demand type deals about a killer, a bulldozer. Only a made-for-TV 70s movie could pull that crap off. Then we have uh, New Year's Evil, which is also a made-on-demand MGM release. Uh, actually, a fairly decent slasher movie. Maybe a tad overrated. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's decent. But uh, I think this one, uh, you know, people would say it's in the league with Hospital Massacre. And I'd say something like Hospital Massacre is a little better. But New Year's Evil kills people on New Year's, women on New Year's. Sorry. We have uh, Sector 7, which uh, I think it's like a monster movie. That's what it says. I think it's from Korea or Japan. I would guess Korea. They like their monsters. But, uh... It's Sector 7. Oh, here we go again. This movie looks strange. I only got it, it was like a dollar or just two fifty. I got it because it has the guy from uh, Della Contestant and uh, Amelie in it, right there. Strange guy. Those movies are both uh, pretty good movies, so I thought I'd give it a chance. These movies are kind of strange releases as well, and strange films. These are from the director himself releasing them, These uh, Charles Pinion. He did the, uh, I believe it's a shot on video movie called Twisted Illusions. Right here, Twisted Issues. Illusions is the sequel to uh, Truth or Dare. But yeah, this is Twisted Issues, splatter, punk, pop, splatter comedy, something. And he also did the movie Red Spirit Lake. And finally, We Await. I've not watched any of these. They're all supposed to be pretty crazy, pretty different. And I'm going to check out his work. Then we have uh, Dead Rise. Again, $2, very cheap. Uh, London to Brighton, used one, very cheap again. 
Yoga, video store closing, 250. Assault Girls, video store closing, 250. Then we have a bootleg here of Chameleons. I need a cover art for this. Uh, strange movie. Also, aka, I think, The Wind Gates. Not to be confused with the Apple Gates. But then we have uh, Sweet Kill, which I didn't even know was released by a uh, uh, Shout Factory. It's a uh, you only get it from Amazon. AK the Arousers, which is a '70s like kind of horror movie that always did, uh, I never actually got to see, and I always wanted to see it. And it's on DVD. It's a perfect time to see it now. Uh, the Exploding Girl, 250 again. This company, this is like that. Asa, I can't remember their name. They also released the weird movie Bellflower, crazy movie. Uh, the Last Jaws, or this is the Last Jaws, also the Last Shark by Ennio uh, Castorelli. I'm also doing a review for this. Uh, this week or next week, there'll be seven reviews, seven days, every day, probably next week, of all Italian Jaws ripoffs, all sorts of things like Killer Crocodile, Last Shark, Monster Shark, stuff like that. But this is one of them. Hilarious movie. Really fun. That's a, a another world entertainment release. Toxic Lullaby. Uh, this is one of those, uh, I, I think I want to say European zombie movies. Supposed to be pretty crazy stylized. Zombie Babies did a review for this. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of this movie. I was a little disappointed. I thought it was alright though. thought I had a couple moments. Uh, cool Dujan, that one. Uh, Rivals from Code Red. Uh, they re-released this one. We're selling it really cheap. Didn't get to see it before, so I grabbed it. A cube. I actually have a Czechoslovakian release of this movie, but uh, that wasn't cutting it. I've seen this movie once uh, a while back, and I remember enjoying it. The Hagstone Demon. This is kind of the, by the guys that did uh, American movie documentary or something like that. Uh, I can't exactly remember. It's skipping my brain. But uh, this movie's supposed to be pretty good, actually. I think it has a Blu-ray release as well. Then we have The Day After Halloween, which uh, cashed in, obviously, by the title Halloween, The Day After Halloween. Uh, I see there's a mark in this, and that's making me very irritated because the case is punctured. But uh, this is one of the Katrina Midnight Theater movies. I've been collecting all those. Then we have Katrina's uh, Nightmare Theater, The Hearst, and uh, Blood of Dracula's Castle as well. The Maid, which just was released. Uh, Pick that up. And of course, A Warlock, Werewolf of Ohio. I heard it's miserably bad, but I couldn't help it. Quitting, again, a dollar, like two dollars. It's a cut case DVD, which is the worst thing you could ever do, but yeah. She-Wolves of the Wasteland. This looks pretty funny. Picked it up. It's an Echo Rich release. Cruel Jaws, which I haven't got a chance to watch. This is supposed to be one of the most silly Jaws rip-offs ever. It steals footage from a whole bunch of stuff from uh, the infamous uh, steel, stealing guy from film, uh, Bruno Massey. Gut did a review for this one. It's an independent film. It's pretty good. Don't want to say much about it. You can watch my review. Uh, Point Blank. This is supposed to be like this high-paced action movie from... Uh, one of those that's uh, Sweden or someplace like country like that. Uh, Barking Dogs Never Bite. Uh, goodbye. This is uh, from the director of, uh, I want to say, The Host. This movie always, like, I always saw the cover. It just looks so silly. It was, again, from the closing video store, so I grabbed it. Uh, Where the Dogs Divide Her, again, was one of the covers I always seen. 250. Uh, Mia Farrow and See No Evil. Big Lots Buy. This was pretty good by uh, the Nurses Collection, Candy Stripe Nurses, Night Call Nurses, uh, Private Duty Nurses, and the Young Nurses. I got that for $10. It is, again, a Roger Corman Shout Factory presents. Now I'm going to hop into the tapes. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Uh, we got Silly Scaries from Grandpa. Yeah, Monster. Those are hilarious. I wish I smoked weed so I could just laugh at how silly those are even more, though, than they already are. Uh, we got Zombie High, which I think I rented years ago. I've never watched Virginia Madsen, Michael Madsen's brother. Uh, Blood Symbol, no back to this one, so you know it's quality when there's no back. But yeah, this one's supposed to be pretty decent. There we go. Uh, I picked up this VHS uh, release of Nailgun Massacre. It's one of those uh, made by the director one deals. It was really cheap on uh, eBay. He's getting rid of them. And oh, here we go. We have Blackout. Matinee with John Goodman thrown in as a bonus. John Goodman's a man. If you don't like him, I don't like you. Wheels of Terror, made for TV. Obviously, killer car movie. Uh, the Dark Tower. Start putting these back in here. Oh, man. Ghost Chase. That cover art, man. That little ghost appearing around the wall. Again, a bonus here. Lady of the Lake. Lurkers. Terror in the Swamp. All those fat hillbillies in the back there. One's coddling the other one while he's dying. Classic. Saint's Princess. Skinner. This is the unrated edition. I refuse to get the DVD because uh, the DVD is supposedly cut. That's the unrated one. 
That movie I've always wanted to see. And then we have Terrifying Tales, which steals cover art from Creepshow. And back on Subspecies. It's an anthology that is supposed to be miserably bad. Then we have The Stay Awake. Witch Trap by Kevin Tenney. The Shrieking. I'm getting some quality stuff, huh, guys? The Playgirl Killer. Tale of a Vampire with Julian Sands, who is infamous for Warlock. The Tomb. I think this is the Fred Olin Ray one. Yeah, so. And then, last but not least, I made my first serious beta tape purchases. I need a beta tape player still, but uh, I'll find one. We got the stack. He threw in uh, four of them that didn't have any cover art, so I'm not going to bother showing that. But a lot of these I didn't really want. I really just, uh, it was a good deal, and there's a lot in there that I did want, so I did buy them. Life Force, the Toby Hooper movie, okay. Always kind of bored me, actually. Final Tear, which is a slasher movie. The DVD looks like shit, I guess. It's a Vestron. Haven't watched my DVD. Uh, the House on Straw Hill, which is a video nasty with Udai Kara in it. Uh, this one was one of the ones I really wanted. I didn't even know it was a beta. The Annihilator is another one I really wanted. Jennifer. I actually had the VHS of this one as well. Oh, there we go. Making Contact, which is a cover I always remembered. Uh, the Power, which is one I really wanted as well. Troll, that was in there. I'm not going to say no to Free Troll. Who would say no to Free Troll? The Keep, which is one I really wanted, never got to see this movie. I think Michael Mann did that one. Scott Glenn's in it. Fleshburn, which I had the VHS as well. I think this is like about a Vietnam vet getting pissed off. Oh, Psychic Killer, which has been on a release a couple times on DVD. House on Shorty Low, Row, which has been released a couple times on DVD. Uh, Dr. Faustus. I don't even know what this is. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, classic film. I'm not going to say anything about it. Amityville 2, yeah. This looks really weird. Max Maven's Mind Game, the video that reads your mind. I don't Probably one of those choose them things. War of the Worlds. Scanners. The last horror film, a.k.a. Uh, Fanatic. Ugh, here's final stack. She? That looks funny. Zone Troopers, which is kind of a... Uh, uh, I've seen this one, actually, a long time ago. Kind of weird. Home Bodies, which is one of the one I wanted the most. Old, late people, killing. Scream for Help. And here's a good one. The Prey. It's a cut box, but that's that. Uh, I got one more thing to show you guys. I'm going to run over and show it real quick. I got lucky enough to get one of the masks. I didn't even take it out. I'm just keeping it in this box the whole time. It is from Toe Tag and uh, Killjoy from uh, Necrophagia. It is the last house on Dead End Street tape. I got 67 of 500. And I'm going to show you the Dardos mask because I can. Very cool. 67. If you guys haven't seen The Last House on Dead End Street, it's pretty much one of the films that originated the fake snuff type deal. Definitely. It also comes with a shirt and some other things like that, but you get the point. Uh, solid. Great movie, actually. It's a classic. Uh, but that's all I have to show. Oh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.